if I had a choice, who would I have play Harry on screen? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I would want somebody who could who could do the part well. He wouldn't necessarily have to look like Dresden for me to be really happy. Um, uh, it could be Will Smith just for the. He's a character. He's, 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 he's very very good at pulling off that character. He will say you know, the worst thing he could possibly say at the worst time to the worst person every time. <laughs> he's good at that. Uh, Captain Tight Ty Pants would do the. Uh, 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 so you know, if Nathan ever gets bored of, of having his own Star series that he's in. You know, we'll um, yes, that would be right perfection. Here, uh, do you think Murphy will pick up the sword for good? Do I think Murphy will pick up the sword for good? Of course. Um, I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> that's fun. Why, why find out about it when, when it happens? That's that, that's the good part of the story. Um, right here. Do you still find time to LARP while you have to write? Do I still do find play? time to LARP while I have to write? Indeed. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I play it. Uh, actually, um, I took my I took my fortune that I should have spent on the on the Lamborghini or something from what everybody told me and bought a LARP farm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's like 160 acres, about 140 of which is 200-year-old forest. It looks like last of the Mohicans in there. It's awesome. Are you looking for a storyteller? <laughs> Send me an email. But yeah, I mean, I still LARP uh, at the Central Chapter in Heroic, and uh, I, I played I play three games since the beginning of the summer. I had to take the last couple off. Uh, but after I get home, there's a there's a big 12 day event. 12 days. Wow. And that's that's more hardcore than I want to do. But I think I'm going to show up to the last four or five uh, uh, in Tennessee. So. Um, in the Dresden hat. <laughs> Dresden hat. Uh, I'm also a fan of the Codex Lair books, so I was wondering what are the chances of you writing another series? What are the chances of me writing another Alara series, or just another series in general? Just another series. Um, 100%, because I have to get a break from that Dresden guy. Around the <laughs> <laughs> and by the time I get to the end of the book, it's like, man, I am so sick of hanging out with you. <laughs> it's not that he's a bad guy or anything. It's just like, you know, when you have family come to visit, and the first, you know, three, four days, it's great. And, and then, you know, and after that, it's just a ticking clock until somebody picks up a knife. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I'm working on a trilogy right now that is probably going to be the prequel trilogy for my epic, epic fantasy epic that I'm going to write one day. And it's so epic, it needs a prequel trilogy. <laughs> uh, and it, it's, 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 it's largely inspired by the Black Company. So. Oh, nice. um, let's see, back here, pink shirt. Yes. Who is your favorite author? Who is my favorite author? Robert Parker. I should have said Shannon, but she wouldn't have believed it because you know, I haven't read her stuff. <laughs> I used to when she was when she was you know still working up to, to being the, the the writer I would I, I would I would read her stuff and critique it for her but uh, she and I do uh, the last time we wrote something together was uh, uh, our junior year of high school and we just got gouged out one another's eyes by numbers and pencils. <laughs> but my favorite author author Robert B Parker um, uh, author of the, the the Spencer mystery series and several others um, excellent excellent writer dead now. Uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, some other good ones are Brandon Sanderson. I picked his stuff up recently. Rothfuss, I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, uh, although he is the sweetest guy in person. Um, oh, yes, I saw the picture of Rothfuss stroking his copy of Ghost, uh, Ghost Story with his beard. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out of my head. <laughs> or I try. Um, oh, right back here. You mentioned Robert Parker. Oh, uh, I mentioned Robert Parker. Is there any connection between that and the Susan character and her fate? No, not really. Uh, uh, I had to name her something. Uh, uh, so it was Susan. Actually, I think it was probably the tick that influenced that more than anything. <laughs> Susan? Oh, now you're not even trying. <laughs> um, right here. Uh, um, okay, uh, uh, he wants to know the first sentence of the next book, and, and is there anybody here who doesn't want to be spoilered? No. Okay, if you don't want to be spoiled, put your fingers in your ears, because uh, everybody else I think would probably want to know. Mav has unique ideas on physical therapy. <laughs> Okay, so I write, and I 
know that there's always Thank like 8 billion things that you come up with that are super cool and you can't fit them into the book with a crowbar. Would you like to tell us some of those by any chance? Um, she says she writes and she knows there are always 8 billion super cool things that I come up with that I couldn't fit in the book with a crowbar. And could I tell you some of them? Um, really, it's that my process doesn't work like that. Uh, I'm a fundamentally lazy writer. I try and I try and build the book as lean as I possibly can, um, just because it makes the editor's job easier, and, and then they like me and take me out to the. To the <laughs> um, so there are a few things that have gotten taken out. I think there was uh, uh, when I was working with Jen Heddle, uh, the original Dresden Files editor. Uh, she came back with the uh, manuscript to Brave Peril and said, uh, "This is awesome, and I want you to expand on these four storylines." and cut the book by 50 pages. <laughs> and I said, so you want me to make the book larger and smaller? <laughs> she says, yes, and hurry. <laughs> um, so uh, 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 I think there was, there was a scene with a, with a ghoul that I had planned on use, using for, for ghoul-related foo in, in, in Chicago that I had to delete. Uh, there was a there was a vampire attack where a vampire tried to tear out the Blue Beetle's engine and didn't realize it was in the back, not the front. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, but those are the only really large things that I dropped. Is Carlos still a virgin? Is Carlos still a virgin? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, right here, glasses. Are we ever going to see Sue the T-Rex again? Are we ever going to see Sue the T-Rex? Are you kidding? I couldn't. I couldn't just let that sit. No. <laughs> We're going to get her out again because I was just too cool to not. <laughs> um, right here, sitting down, green shirt. That created the what? Hex and Wolf and Belts. Have we met the people that created the Hex and Wolf Belts yet? Um, that's another item. I'm not going to tell you a question. Um, I will say kind of. Uh, uh, not really, and yes. <laughs> We'll get, it, we'll, we'll get into more of that during full days as well. Yeah? Uh, are we going to see more of the... Are we going to see the Jade Court? The, the Jade Court of Vampires? Uh, are we going to ever see the, the Jade Court get involved in things? They're really isolationist, which means they just don't care what's happening outside their own uh, their own sphere of influence, which is uh, which is largely China. Um, and we're not going to see them. We're not going to see them definitely in any of the case books. They might show up in the the big old trilogy and we do at the end. So, yeah, there's going to be. That, that's the plan. In case you didn't know, there's going to be about 20 ish of the Dresden Files, depending on whether or not my kid goes to grad school. <laughs> and uh, and then I'm going to write a big old apocalyptic trilogy for the very end. Yep. Right here. Um, Morgan Smiley has this really excited about that. Are you going to have to wait a while until you find out what's going on on the island? At least some more. Like, yeah, you're going to have to wait until at least next book. We should actually be able to, to, to get some real stuff on, on Demon Reach next book. Um, and you'll, you'll find, uh, you get an idea of, of why it's there and why Dresden is probably the worst possible person to be in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, really, Dress is the worst possible person to be in charge of almost every story. <laughs> but uh, that's just kind of how he rolls. Uh, right here. Why did you cut your hair? Why did I cut my hair? <laughs> uh, largely to shock my wife. <laughs> I walked out of the house with about a three-month writer beard and uh, long hair down the middle of my back. And uh, got it cut off and walked back in with the, with the crew cut and the beard gone. And waited for her to flip out because I, my hair's been that long since I was about 20. Uh, uh, waited for her to flip out, and we had one of those conversations where she talks and talks about looking up and what she's doing. You know, she's playing solitaire or something, and then just carrying on a conversation. And finally, the fun of waiting to jump on it, it, it sort of went away, and I just sort of sighed and sat down and started watching TV. And maybe five, ten minutes after that, she goes, Oh my God! <laughs> if we haven't had any conversation, I would have shot you right there. <laughs> um, over here, classy. Yeah, you were saying uh, about 20 books. When did you decide, kind of ties in, my question was plotting, and how far along you've been. Did you do an excellent job of pulling stuff, previous stories, bringing them back? Okay, uh, um, I've written 20 books, uh, so how much of it did I have plotted? Right. And the, the answer to that was I had 20 books plotted uh, uh, when, I, when I started writing them. Uh, 
after my teacher said the first one was was going to she thought it would it would sell, uh, I said, well, I've kind of got an idea for the story to take about twenty books. You think that would be okay? And she gives me this very dry look and says, yeah, I think if you can sell the twenty book series, you'll be doing fine. <laughs> uh, uh, and not realizing at the time how impossible that was going to be to sell a twenty book series to somebody, uh, I went ahead and did it. Um, so, you know, I've been very fortunate in my stupidity, uh, professionally speaking. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm aware my question's kind of cheating, but are we going to see more of Nicodemus and or Mavra? I know they're two completely different villains, and hopefully they never team up, because that would be awful, but... Are we going to see more of Nicodemus or Mavra? Uh, Nicodemus will show up on, on schedule. Yay! Um, uh, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, Mavra's not done yet either, uh, uh, but she eventually probably will be.